I don't know when I'm going to have that conversation with y'all, but it's a conversation about getting out of the army that I have to have with y'all because I feel like it needs to be had. And I feel like there's additional things that they need to be putting into those SFL type appointments because... <laughs> Hey, Federal Face, welcome back. If you're not new, if you're new, welcome. I'm Andrea, and y'all, I'm starting a new vlog. And I feel like it's been quite some time since I've picked up this camera. It's been it's been like three weeks, honestly. Like the last video that you guys saw go up, that went up a little late, a few days late, actually, because I'm supposed to be trying to upload a vlog like every week. Yeah, my life is transitioning in more ways than one. One being, I'm finally getting the kids back, Amia. Is sitting over here on her iPad. Say hi. <laughs> we actually leave out in a few days, actually, to go and pick Derry on up from my family out in Iowa. Hold on, let me set this down. So, yeah, that's happening. That's happening. It's definitely an adjustment period. Um, I'm getting out of the military. It's a lot of stuff that's happening for me right now. Going to nursing school, y'all. It's getting closer and closer and closer, y'all. My school starts in August in. I'm ready though. I think I'm ready. I'm just waiting on the VR and E people to like contact me because that's giving me a little bit nervous because who about to pay this tuition? I still gotta get my books. I still gotta get my tuition paid. My uniform still gotta be reimbursed. I haven't went to school in person in a long time, but that's besides the point. The point of this vlog is there is no point, y'all. I learned about some new editing software, some new editing styles. I just want to try some stuff out. So obviously I have to have a vlog in order to practice these things. Obviously this is my little personal diary. So I try to just, you know, keep track of the things that I'm doing. So as far as today, I have to um, go and drop some stuff off for my sister's birthday, which is obviously way past, but I ended up, um, these are a few dresses that Trey ended up buying for me, but they are just way too big. So I'm gonna be giving those to her. I'm pretty sure she'll be able to fit those a little bit better. I ended up buying her this perfume because this is actually one of my favorite perfumes. It's supposed to be a dupe to, what is it? What is it? It's a dupe to Delina, Delina de Marley. I think it's how you pronounce it, but yeah, this is so good. It was for me, they had gave it to me when I bought my Midnight in Dubai. They gave me this one for free and I just loved it so much. So she's getting that for her birthday on top of this belt. Now I bought this belt, y'all. I bought this belt back in 2018 and I have never ever worn it, right? I've never worn this belt and it's crazy because I don't know, y'all know what? I feel like back then and even now I'm still finding myself if that makes any sense and especially with me getting out of the military I am finding myself all over again if that makes any sense I don't know when I'm gonna have that conversation with y'all but it's a conversation about getting out of the army that I have to have with y'all because I feel like it needs to be had and I feel like there's additional things that they need to be putting into those SFL type appointments because <laughs> Everybody back then was wearing this belt and I'm just like, yeah, I want that belt. I want to be this person. I felt like I was trying to just fit in and fall in with everybody else. I felt like my life back then was so crappy. I just wanted to be, I don't know. I just wanted to be one of those girls, right? So I bought this, I bought this belt. Now, I also bought, this purse and y'all have heard me talk about this purse before this was the first um luxury item that i had purchased for myself um i bought her second hand so she was like nice and sure her, her straps were brighter than this and stuff before but um i bought her second hand this was twelve hundred dollars and i honestly feel like i probably could have gotten like a new one probably maybe especially back then i probably could have gotten a brand new one but i got this second hand back then for twelve hundred dollars when i found my taxes you know i thought i was doing a damn thing because your girl got a never fool and all the girls had never fools so guess what i wanted to get i wanted to get me a never fool and that's what i did um luckily i still find some use out of this um this is kind of like a bag that i just throw things in i don't really take care of it and that's another thing when it comes to luxury goods i feel like i don't take care of my things well enough to be trying to spend that much money on them but i bought this i bought this belt 
And y'all, when I say a freaking Gucci bag, like, are you kidding me? Um, it came in the little dust bag or whatever. This is the belt. I've never worn this belt. I've never worn this belt. I got the small one because I thought at the time I wanted to be like the girlies who was wearing the belts like over their clothes like this. And the moment I got this belt, y'all, and I'm looking at the belt and I'm just like, it's a gorgeous belt, don't get me wrong. But this is not me. It's just not me. And to spend so much money on something that's not even my personality, not even my style, not even something that I will wear just because so many different people had it and I just wanted to be something that I'm not. Why at my big age am I like, trying to fall i don't know y'all it was just so weird but i have a lot of things like this i've had a lot of things like this where i'm like oh i want that because it's popular or i want that because you know the 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 notoriety are back behind it and it just didn't work out so a lot of that stuff i'm getting i'm giving away on top of the fact that there's a lot of clothes and stuff that i have that i just need to get rid of i just need to get rid of it because I just don't need it. I just don't need it and it's not me anymore. Let's go ahead and go because I've been running my mouth way too long. Wait, what? Muscle straps. What is she saying? Muscle straps. Muscle. What is she saying? Muscle. Straps. Brussels sprouts? <laughs> Brussels sprouts. They're Brussels sprouts. I don't cook that every night. I like Brussels sprouts. I don't care what nobody say. I feel like they're better than broccoli. They're better than green beans. I like Brussels sprouts. Anyway, on our way out the door, right, I realized there's so many other things that I have to do. I really should have made a checklist and I think I'm about to try to make one right now. Starting with, I have to go back to, okay, first of all, I canceled my little subscription to get my car cleaned monthly because I thought $40 was too much. I thought I did not clean my car that often, but I kid you not, since I've gotten this new car that I absolutely love, I absolutely adore this car. Like this is, I love this car so much. I take care of it. I take care of it so crazily. I like this is, I feel like this car, I've never taken care of any other car that I had better than this car. So I have to go and get the car wash subscription back. She liked it because of the light, because, because of the seats and the roof is white. Oh yeah, I like it because the light interior, that's a, that, that was a big, that was a big che checklist item. Also have to, um get me his pajamas get you a few do groceries like the other car that's in terrence's yard Me. the gray car mm -mm. i have to go to the beauty supply beauty because hmm? mia i need to get her some more um barats and stuff like that and i need to see if i can find something for my hair oh i need to order study study material study test i'm taking the cse which is the clinical simulations exam to try to get my registered respiratory therapy license or whatever the case may be i'm taking that on the first and i've been studying 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 like crazy i took it before and i missed it by like three points which looks so bad it was three points but um i missed it and i decided i threw it back on the calendar as soon as i was able to and so i'm taking it again on the first and i need to study a little bit more i need to do my nails and toes because y'all mm, i'm looking i'm looking real not cute out here <laughs>
spray y'all already know my strawberry pound cake spray you just need just a little bit oh shoot that's probably too much you just need just a little bit or it's gonna choke you out it's done let's go ahead and head over to let's go ahead and head over to post and go to the commissary not the commissary the um oh well you know what i'm gonna just do a loop back so let's go ahead and head over to ross and get me his pajamas and then on the loop back then we'll stop at the px in the commissary because i'm gonna have groceries and i don't want the groceries just sitting in the car while i'm running around doing the rest of the stuff that i'm doing so pajamas is next <laughs> so we just left ross and i don't i don't understand why spending so much money is necessary there's two things that i purchased because i just love them like i fell in love with them almost immediately and i want to take them back because i feel like i should have spent that much money even though it was fair it's it's it was fair we did not find any pajamas that's the that's the sad part we came in here for pajamas and didn't get pajamas yet i spent over a hundred dollars make it make sense i think what i'm gonna do i'm gonna stop at walmart on the way back home and grab some um what's it grab some pajamas from walmart she don't even need a lot of sets you literally just have one nightgown so maybe th two or three pair or sets of pajamas is going to do us perfectly fine and i decided i'm not going to do my nails today i'm going to do my nails tomorrow along with everything else like maintenance wise that i have to do i'm gonna leave all that until tomorrow but i do have to go ahead and head over to the beauty supply so let me go ahead and look up a beauty supply store that's near me oh my god her hair is so pretty oh her hair is so pretty i want my hair like that but didn't you just have your hair like like that? And then you made a video that that you and Craig went went on a vacation and you made you some baby hairs. I made me some baby hairs. Yes, you, that's what you said. Well, I messed up those baby hairs. So. <laughs> make you some, some edges. First of all, my edges grew back. Anyway, what I was saying yeah, was, I don't even know what I was saying. You know what? Oh, Let's go to a beauty supply store because it'd be your own people. Now I'm distracted. Well, my own my everything, my what, the red hair wig? Yeah, because the red hair wig. Um, it had the, um, it had the, the other, it must be hard. I'm looking at these bundles. I don't know if it's just me. I don't get my hair done, but I feel like these, it's kind of thin, right? Yup. They're weak. Mm. They are in the weave. It's weave? Mm -hmm. Oh, I didn't know that part. I didn't, I didn't know it was. I don't know, it was weave. Oh, what do I want? I did just grab some braiding hair, some pre-stretched hair for the braids that I want to attempt to do. But I kind of want to do something 
else in the meantime. Nah, I don't like that one. This girl. This with her with all these colors. Nah. Uh, anyway, y'all, we just left out of the beauty supply store. <laughs> y'all, Amia is funny. Amia grew up. But, um, yeah, we just left out of the beauty supply store. I am happy to say I only spent about $115. And I was able to get two packs of hair for when I braid my hair. Two packs of yakky hair weave because I want to kind of cut, make me a little bob. That's something I'm going to try to do. A little chain that's something i'm going to try to do tomorrow she got her some little slippers in the chain and then i wanted to grab her some barats so i got her some barats some beads and some balls but like just i guess the rest of the stuff that i need to do my hair so yeah i'm happy about that that wasn't a lot of money at all so let's go ahead and go to ups and get that out of the way at the very least yeah her birthday was almost a month ago and i'm just now sending this stuff up <laughs> She'll understand. Love you. I also give myself the props for still saying no because a chunk of my freaking hubcap was missing. Outside to do list, and I'm so excited. I'm across the street from the house now. I'm about to grab some food. I want what is it? It's a shrimp lunch bowl from what is this place called? Koto Hibachi is where I'm about to go. Koto Hibachi and sushi. So I'm about to go ahead and go in here and order me some food real quick. Hopefully, it don't take too long. Usually, about 15 minutes it takes for them to make the food. And then I'm going to go and grab me a chicken nuggets from KFC because I'm not cooking. I'm not, I'm not cooking. It's leftovers in the house and all that. Listen, I lost my, my ponytail holder. Anyway, um, let me go in here and order this food and then go home and chill for a little bit. I still have a few other things that I have to do at home. Obviously, one of them is ordering that test. But I also realize I still have to pack this stuff that I'm going to be taking to my family out in Iowa. Because like I said, we're leaving out in a few days to go and pick up Darion from Iowa. But there's some stuff that I have that I don't either, I no longer use or that I just didn't need that I want to pack up and take out to them because i know they'll be able to use it or whatever yeah and i completely forgot that i need to actually pack that stuff up and have it ready to put in a car so that's another thing that's being added to the freaking to-do list goodness gracious it's just it's a never-ending list i swear i just need a working to-do list because it's a never-ending list but let me go get this food i'm tired i need a nap <laughs> is appearance it is much 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 later it is past nine o'clock at night your girl just hopped out of the shower but just a quick recap i really didn't i'm gonna get better at it i'm gonna get better at it but i didn't oh my goodness those stairs got me so winded but i didn't vlog 
a majority of the stuff that I was doing at home. I did get a chance to order that test and I took it and I won't lie, I'm feeling a little irritated about it because I feel like I wasted $70. I feel like I wasted $70 on that test. I feel like the information, it's helpful, but as far as the, as far as the, as far as the exclamation, exclamation explanation gosh jesus as far as the s as far as the explanation of like the questions and stuff like that the answers is not like it was for the tmc for whatever reason like whatever answer that i clicked whether it was right or wrong it only gave me the explanation for that answer it didn't give me the explanation for all the other answers which that's the only reason why i even purchase this freaking test so that's very very irritating to me right now i do oh my god that is so irritating that is so irritating that's literally the reason i purchased the test so yeah i definitely feel like i wasted 70 dollars. i don't know if I'm, i will be purchasing the other test it's very time consuming to be sitting there taking a test only for you to not get explanations and things that's going to help you really study and understand the content that's the, the way the questions are formulated and stuff anyway so that was really irritated anyway i ended up picking like separating all the stuff that i need to pack in a car for when we do drive off to iowa and that's about it your girl just hopped out the shower and she washed her hair and let me tell y'all something real quick let me tell y'all something that's really been getting to me my hair i okay my hair used to be very luscious healthy it was points in time like there was a point in time where i buzz cut my hair like i cut my hair completely off and um yeah it grew out beautifully i had these beautiful curls it was sitting and bouncing here it would extend and stretch down to here it was gorgeous and i don't know like over these last few years my hair has just been brittle and breaking and just just driving me absolutely insane and I, I hate to say that it's an insecurity of mine because it's just hair but it is an insecurity of mine because it's getting to the point I know y'all see this I know y'all see that and it's so crazy because it's not like I put heat on my hair I leave my hair up in the same exact like two twists this way or like my little just very slick ponytail so I don't know what happened with that but my ends are completely gone like they're just gone and so I think I'm about to cut it off I think I'm about to cut all of this extra unnecessary like that is insane so yeah I have no clue what happened I'm very very sad about it it's this this is me like this me showing y'all this right now is me being vulnerable because I I don't know like I uh, I don't know so I'm really sad about that I'm gonna be cutting this off I am gonna be giving myself a quick weave tomorrow to prepare for our trip to go and get dairy on hopefully that even turns out right or I'm just out of luck and I'm not gonna have anything to do with my hair because I don't know how to do my hair what happened what happened to my hair on a lighter note my skin is doing better hold on because y'all know I got this um, beauty filter on let me see if I can turn it off real quick let me turn that thing off okay is it off there we go this is what my skin is doing these days obviously i still have some hyperpigmentation um got some scarring but as far as like breakouts and stuff like that my skin is doing so good y'all as far look at this i ended up going to the range with trey on i think it was memorial day we went to the range and one of the spent shells ended up uh, ricocheting off the wall and went into my eye pro and sat there for literally a split second it wasn't even there that long and did that so and surprisingly i wasn't that upset about it like yeah it's a mark there it's visible you can see it but i i knew i'm like but well, that happened so yeah but I do want to show y'all these two pieces that I got from Ross. Hold on real quick. Okay, so I decided that I was going to keep this purse. So I ended up getting this white purse, which is from this Aldo. And I just think that is so cute. And I got this because I wanted it to go with these Birkenstocks that I just bought. So yeah, this was perfect. I'm so glad I kept this because I was thinking about 
taking this back. It was only $30, but yeah. And then I ended up finding this cute little coach pencil wallet. Like I plan on using it for like, my pencils and my highlighters and my pens and stuff like that um, when I'm doing my Bible study stuff. So I thought this was so cute. Like, look at that. That is part like it's literally perfect for what I need to use it for. So I thought that was so cute. But yeah, so I think that's it. That's all. I'm about to go ahead and finish and doing my little snack. I'm about to watch a few YouTube videos. Probably press my hair out just a little bit so I can like really see where I'm wanting to cut it because I would go somewhere, but I'm gonna be honest, I don't I don't think it's necessary for me to go anywhere and I honestly feel like me going places and letting people put their hands in my hair is the reason I'm in this mess in the first place. <laughs> um, so yeah, I think I'm gonna just see what I can do here. I mean, it really don't matter. It's hair. Hair is hair. But I got me some watermelon. I ended up making me a little chai tea. And I'm going to see y'all later. I am going to be doing a bunch of like maintenance tomorrow. Like I got to do my nails because my nails are looking atrocious. Y'all, my toes are looking tragic. Do y'all see that? Do y'all see my feet? Tragic. Y'all, my hair. I'm about to do my hair. I need to pluck my eyebrows. I ended up ordering some lashes. They're brown lashes. So I'm super excited to try those out. So I'm going to be trying to DIY my lashes tomorrow. So tomorrow is just going to be another one of my DIY self care days. And I'm so excited about it. That's kind of why I'm doing all this like my everything shower, washing my hair, getting prepped because I don't want tomorrow to take too long. <laughs> so, yes. At least I got my to-do list done. My to-do list is done and I'm going to see y'all in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. We're on a road to 10k subscribers and with y'all hope I know I can do that. So just go ahead and check real quick. I'll wait. I'm patient. All right. I'm going to see y'all in the next one. Bye.